Okay, dokey guys, so uh, welcome back again uh, to the channel. So, if you have followed me, it is uh, now uh, almost a year after I have done the latest video about the best uh, truck uh, in the game. So, after uh, one year, I decided to do the same thing, seeing also that that video is uh, the best um, performing video on my channel. So, I thought uh, to make a follow up not only to see if that is gonna work so we're going to start a new uh, a new campaign here to see if we can get the steel the ta uh, the taiga uh, under two hours or maybe under one hour because um, yeah um, I haven't played with the game unfortunately so I don't know if they have changed the mechanics uh, of the game so that's uh, uh, basically why I'm back here to give it a go and to show you guys but most importantly also because the video, uh, the last video that I have done about the best truck in the game, which basically is uh, the Taiga, uh, unfortunately it's uh, 37 minutes long, so it's too long. So uh, today, of course, uh, not only we're gonna see if that is going to work, but I'm also gonna try and do the video uh, much, much shorter, or at least I'm gonna try. So after you start a new campaign, if you are new to the game or wanna start a new gameplay, just basically do. Uh, the first tutorials just uh, until you go to uh, to the garage into the first map you don't need to do anything else of course I'm gonna tell you a couple of things uh, along the way that you can do that it might help uh, that it will help us along uh, the way but yeah you just need to do the tutorials uh, just stick on the main road you don't have to do anything else just do the tutorial uh, uh, until you go to the garage uh, and uh, that's it so this is the first step let me go to the next step and catch you guys there okay first tutorial obviously is to go to the first watchtower which basically uh, is needed to discover to also discover the map after you do this we're gonna do a mission which is not a tutorial but it's uh, out of the tutorial which go ahead and grab this upgrade which is going to be for uh, the current truck uh, uh, that we have for this truck and we need that upgrade because uh, it is an upgraded suspension, a raised, suspen a raised uh, suspension upgrade for this truck, which is going to be very useful uh, to progress uh, and going and grabbing the Targa without doing anything else. So let me just grab that and be with you guys again in a second. Okay, now after we get uh, the first truck, then uh, we can go to the map, then go to the contracts here and we will unlock the old bridge. Basically, we need to build this bridge to be able then to go to, uh, to, go to the garage. And as I already told you, we need a metal beam so we can go up here, get the metal beam, go to the bridge, then come back down here to the lumber mill, get the two... Uh, plank woods and then bring up there so uh, let me build the bridge again and catch you guys in a second activate and here we go okie dokie so we are here finally and finished building the bridge and now of course we get to the next level which is a thing that we need of course, go away, just uh, tutorial stuff. Now, just follow the main road, uh, the main road this way, because this is also main road, but the main road this way, and just stick uh, on the main road until you get uh, to the garage. Don't turn uh, left or right, don't go for watchtowers for anything, just go to the garage. Alrighty then, we are in the garage, so if you are a new player in a new gameplay, maybe, you have some uh, trailers here just approach them so you can discover them and by discovering them you get uh, some uh, free stars free stars basically to level up so whenever you see a trailer a truck or everything in the map just approach them and you will get some free stars basically it's going to be a very useful then after that we have also this truck that you can fix but you don't have to do it because um, uh, it's a highway truck so we don't need it so after we get into the garage to follow the steps uh, of the tutorial we need to go to Alaska to go to Alaska we go uh, we're gonna retain the truck then okay as it says uh, hit G to go to the global map okay then we select Alaska select the truck okay after we go here we go to truck storage because we need to get the truck 
then please do not hit sell it's really easy to mess up and hit sell we don't care too much about this truck but be careful to not hit sell hit deploy here okay then go back then leave the garage and we are in alaska okay we know we don't need to stay to alaska so we hit a v then we go to recover the truck back again then we retrain the truck back again then hit g go to michigan again black river go to the garage entrance okay After that, truck storage, do not hit sell, deploy, back, then leave the garage. You don't have to do this step actually, but it's a free stuff, so uh, I recommend you do it. So basically, if we go to the contracts here and we go to Husky Forwarding, you will see Farming Tools uh, is unlocked. You activate it. You don't have to do it because you can uh, always sell the truck, but it's uh, really easy, basically. We just grab this trailer here and take it to the farm and um, this is optional but you can do it to have a little bit of money because after you get the taiga uh, we will need a little bit of money to do some upgrades so it's a really uh, fast thing to do so you can do it to save a little bit of time uh, in the upgrade so it's uh, it's really easy basically so let's just get this to the farm and it's some free money here Okay, come on, come on, oh my god, this truck is a nightmare. Come on, come on, hey, finally. Okay, some free stars and some uh, free money. So now, what I'm going to do, again, this is optional, but uh, yeah, actually you don't need uh, this truck, so we recover the truck. So what I'm gonna do is go and sell this truck. But before you do sell a truck, just be sure to remove any upgrades that you might have installed in this case i don't have any upgrades i just have to remove the sideboard uh, bed because uh, this truck doesn't need it so just uninstall it then go back. back okay and now we can sell the truck so just retain the truck then go to truck storage and just sell are you sure to uh, to sell it of course we are sure okay we are finished for now in michigan so what we have to do and go is go and grab our little buddy here and recover it to the garage then go to customize and we need to install the race suspension that we got because we're gonna need those uh in alaska after that we're gonna go and grab the tires i think the bad uh the best tires that we have right now are this one here on road off road yeah this one here because they are good on mud so we need um, a good performance in mud so we're gonna install this purchase okay i did purchase the the suspension right no i did not purchase dang it install it okay now we are ready to move on so retain the truck then go to the global map alaska here then garage here then uh, come on we get to the truck then do not sell it deploy it back and, and leave the garage okay then after we come to alaska basically what we need to do it's uh, really simple from uh, the garage we just follow the main road here 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 then here then we end up to where i am right now i have also uh, discovered uh, one of the watchtowers here but you don't have to go for those because it will be uh, it will be a waste of time but since they are on the road you can do them to save yourself a little bit of time later but for now with this truck it's a little bit difficult to go especially to this uh, watchtower here for this bridge do not worry when you get into the bridge you don't have to build the bridge just go to the right side there is a pole there just go to the right of the pole and then down into the river and then you will be on the other side of the bridge so you don't have to build the bridge and definitely do not take this road because it's going to be a nightmare so just go straight past the bridge on the right pole to the right to the river and then to the road then come here turn right again come here turn left and then we will be here to where i am now this is going to be the most difficult part of this uh, uh of this uh, map because 
Now here to the right we have uh, an upgrade. Uh, we have an upgrade here and here we have the truck that we need to recover the BM uh, 17 I think it's called. So this is going to be the most uh, difficult part. What I suggest is uh, go through the trees here. Sometimes it might be hard to rain. Sometimes if it's raining it might be loose to rain. Or you can go down to the side of the road here and then use the trees to pull yourself when you will get stuck. But definitely the race suspension that we got for this truck, it's doable. Uh, going through the water is going to be a nightmare, but it's doable. I have done it, but since I have suffered, you don't have to do that. So just try and go to the right here and try and go through the trees. Go low range here because we don't want to spin up the wheels and dig ourselves in. So we can you oh shoot I forgot okay we can use the winch to pull ourselves okay basically you get just go to the uh, just stick to the right near the water and then we'll go for the upgrade okay engageable all-wheel drive unfortunately uh, we need this upgrade because uh, it enables the all-wheel drive on the BM17 so uh, that's why we need it come on come on truck we can do this again uh, patience is key here we did it so now we go to the BM17 here so basically new truck discovered then V then go to change truck to the BM now V again recover the truck accept and then we retrain, retain the truck because we don't need it any longer here. Then we go back again to the to get the CK. Okay, V recover. Okay, retain. Now we are ready to move on. Sorry. So we go to the global map. We go to time here, drown land, and garage here. Okay, we need to go to the frame mods and then go to maintenance frame add-on. Unfortunately, we can get this one which has more, more, uh, more repair parts, but this one has uh, also spare wheels and fuel tanks. So it has less repair parts, but it has more stuff. It's a little bit heavier too, but unfortunately we need to go to rank 4 to get this one. So for the beginning, uh, it's totally fine. We have the money so we can... Uh, get uh, this one okay then we are good to go we don't need anything else basically uh, now we can go and grab the truck so go back leave the garage and okay here then go back to the garage and go to the CK and leave the garage now, what I suggest you do, this is also optional, but what I suggest you do is grab both trucks as uh, we usually do. So basically, you can get both of them because if you get stuck, because this part is going to be difficult, if you get stuck, then you can use um, uh, one of the other trucks to... Um, uh, to Okay, we need to turn the engine on on the truck behind because it will not be possible then press F to pull the truck a little bit uh, near and from here we just uh, need to go here down this path then here then here is the taiga so let me go there and then I'll show you what to do next okay here we go again please truck do not tumble over come on go full beans here Okay, come, 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 do not stop, do not stop, do not stop. Ooh, that was lucky. Whoa. That was the fastest I have gotten through that freaking bridge. Oh my god. Anyway, I need it. Let's just go to the taiga. Okay, let's go in for the last time. Oh, please don't tumble over. Okay, easy. Handbrake and we oh no 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 oh my god that was lucky let make it quick taiga we have left only suspension okay wheels uh
Okay, fuel up done. So now we are good to go. So let's go back. Change trucks. Oh my god, finally. So now the recover you don't have to drive we go immediately here and the truck will be fine okay and from here we go immediately to customize and then we can customize what we have we can install the off-road uh, uh, the off-road gearbox if we want to of course I'm gonna install this one because I already have the money then unfortunately we need the race suspension which are in another map in um, uh, uh, in Russia which is going to be a little bit difficult but then we're gonna go for the tires these are the bad uh, the uh, the best tires that we have for now so you can get those uh, two and from here i think we are good to go we don't have anything else the other thing that i um, highly suggest you do is go immediately and uh, we have the sideboard of course let's install this one because we're going to work with this one of course you go immediately to mission gun and pick up from there and if you want to um, uh, to know how to level up faster, I have another video to show you guys uh, that it's only a single mission in uh, Michigan, which is really really easy with uh, this truck, and you can do it um, you can do it right away. And after you level up, you're gonna have. Uh, some new upgrades that you're gonna install to the Taiga and after you do all the upgrades that you can By leveling up then you can come back to Russia and search for the other parts of this truck to fully upgrade this one because um, On the state that it is right now, of course it can get stuck But anyway, it can get stuck at least 10 times less than with uh, another truck So it's going to be much much better uh, to progress so if you work in Michigan with this truck is going to be a breeze in Alaska the same and also in um, uh, Here in Russia since it's a Russian truck and you can find it here So to fully upgrade this one unfortunately the parts that you can find through the map are going to be in Russia But I do not suggest you work in Russia with this truck at the state that it is right now but go ahead work in Michigan or uh, use my trick to level up as fast as you can and you can install all the upgrades that you can by leveling up and then go to search the parts uh, that you can uh, in Russia also uh, um, also while doing other stuff other other challenges and main missions so there you have it it works again even in 2023 it is a breeze it took me like one and a half hours or maybe even less but it can take you way less to you if you are if you are more lucky than me and you and you don't tumble over because I tumbled over on that bridge uh, many times unfortunately I think three times yeah three times so I had to recover and then go back again and yeah basically that's it uh, if you guys like these type of videos please let me know by doing all that good stuff liking uh, sharing subscribing leave a comment anything might be helpful so keep on trucking guys have fun and as usual i will see you on the next one bye bye